Uh, my name is Graham. I'm from uh, Dewsbury in West Yorkshire. It's about... What's, who fucking wooed that? <laughs> Last time I did a gig and introduced myself as being from Dewsbury in West Yorkshire, somebody in the front row said, Hello, o Akbar. <laughs> totally changed the mood of the night, so... No, um... So, um... Uh, that's a fucking true story as well. Um... <laughs> So, uh, no, but it's about an hour and a half away, so uh, when I got here, um, I went straight to McDonald's, got something to eat, because it had been about an hour and 35 minutes since I'd eaten. Um, <laughs> got a chocolate milkshake. Have you tried eating, having a milkshake from McDonald's lately? What's the fucking problem with those? Paper fucking straws. Even the staff, especially the Liverpool staff, they're savvy. She actually went, do you want two straws? <laughs> fucking... My wife, I said to my wife about these paper straws, and she said, yeah, they're very much like your erections, Graham. All right? <laughs> You need to use them quickly, all right? They rarely last long enough to get the job done. And she prefers the plastic alternative. So, <laughs> fuck you, David Attenborough, frankly. Um, so, uh, while you're all in a good mood, give me a cheer if you've ever been mentally ill. Brilliant. Normally everyone just goes, like you did, what the fuck is he talking about? So it's a strange subject for comedy, but uh, I have. I, uh, about ten years ago, I had a nervous breakdown um, and uh, was about as low as it's possible to get without feeling suicidal. I thought I'd better get myself sorted out. Went to the doctor, and he prescribed me antidepressants. Give us a shout if you've ever used antidepressants. You have. You're, you're, I'm just going to do the whole set to you because you're really engaged. So he said to me, this will take about six weeks to kick in before you start feeling better. Why don't you use that time to read the 47-page list of uh, side effects that these tablets might have? <laughs> So I did. I read them all, and three of them have stuck with me to this day, ten years later. The first one is the increased risk of a desire to harm yourself. <laughs> Surprising, isn't it? Right? So I went to the doctor because I was feeling like shit, but not suicidal. And then these pills that he's given me might just push me over the edge. You know. <laughs> okay. The second one was a, a word that I had to, had to look up, and it's anorgasmia. Okay? Scott knows what this word means, don't you, Scott? Yeah, or Hannah does. The inability to achieve an orgasm. That's, uh, that's what that word means. So I wasn't suicidal, but these pills might push me over the edge. And if that didn't get me, the fact that I was never going to fucking come again definitely would, right? But then the third one was the increased risk of long and painful erections, okay? So wasn't suicidal, might become suicidal, never going to come again, but I'm going to have a raging hard-on that kills me, okay? So I went to my wife and spoke to my wife about it, explained the situation, and within 48 hours she trebled my dose. Um, <laughs> not sure why. Uh, thankfully we're still together, 10 years later, which is great. Um, and all I've had to do there is never have, have an orgasm again and punch myself in the cock repeatedly, basically. So, lovely, when I can find it.